लेट्स सी ये 2001 कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स हम दैट सम इज दिस देयर आर टू पार्ट्स इन दैट सम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर Yes, sir. Now you can see the sum properly. Uh, if you take uh, question number four, right? Uh, part A, right? Arc C minus L A equals alpha, where A belongs to capital R. Alpha is an angle between zero and five. Describe the locus of C. Right? Then it is known as half. Half line, no, half line. So how do you define? How do you describe? So you can describe this one geometrically, right? Geometrically, you can describe that. Uh, uh, now, if you look at the part A, you have to uh, define the line. This line, arc C minus L C minus A equals alpha. This line can be defined uh, under two cases: when alpha is acute angle and alpha is obtuse angle. When A, uh, if alpha is uh, acute angle, so you can define. This half line like this. If alpha is obtuse angle, you can define this half line like this, right? Mm. But they have considered two cases for when alpha is acute angle and alpha is alpha is obtuse angle. Mm. I don't know why they have not considered cases of A. But A also they can consider plus A and minus when A is positive and when A is negative like that, right? Right. Uh, now, uh, oh, if you come to next part, you are given two lines like this. Very easily you can draw in the same diagram, right? Two lines. But uh, this triangle, if you construct this, if you plot the plot the two lines, you have a triangle PQR. Then PR is perpendicular to QR because this pi by six, this pi by three. When this two pi by three, this pi by three, right? Now you want to find, but uh, C satisfying both of the lines means that is a point of intersection, right? When you find point of intersection, you can find PQ. PQ is length two units. PR is two cos pi by six root three. Then LR, you can take uh, put up the perpendicular drawn from R to x axis is capital L. Then LR is PR sine pi by six. That is root three by two. PL you can calculate. Right, P R cos pi by six, that is three by two. Then you can, uh, without just consider, you just calculate the length, hmm? length of, without considering the sines of these uh, lengths. Right. Then O L then equals half. Hmm? Then coordinates of R, you know, R is in this side. O R is this side, so coordinates of R is half comma root three by two. Therefore, complex number represented by R is half plus I root three by two, right? Half plus I root three by two. So very simple that part. If you come to next part, so you have to part B. You are given a complex number. You have to simplify and express. That complex number in the form of lambda times one plus i. Hmm? Can you try doing that one? If you come to part B, you have to 
simplify 5 minus i over 2 minus 3i. So, 5 minus i, 2 plus 3i, 2 minus 3i, 2 plus 3i. So, this equals 10 plus 15i minus 2i minus 3i square over 4 minus 9i square. So this equals 13 plus 13i over 4 plus 9 equals 1 plus i. So you have to express this as lambda times lambda times 1 plus i, no? What is lambda? So lambda equals 1, right? If this equals lambda times 1 plus i, lambda equals 1, right? where lambda equals 1. Then, what is the next part? Uh, hence, show that uh, sixth power of this complex number is imaginary. Imaginary. Sixth power. What is sixth power of this? 5 minus i, 2 minus 3i, all to the power of 6. Mm. That is 1 plus i to the power of 6. So this equals 1 plus i, all things squared to the power of 3, no? So this equals 1 plus 2i plus i squared to the power of 3. So this is 1 minus i squared is also minus 1, plus 1, minus 1 get cancelled. So this equals 8i cube. So this equals minus 8i. What is this? Complex numbers are generally imaginary, right? But this complex number is Pure imaginary. Hmm? Purely imaginary. Pure. That's right. Purely imaginary. Right? Now, if you take uh, this purely imaginary, this uh, purely imaginary. Right? Purely imaginary. Real imaginary means real part is zero. If real real part is zero, we say num purely imaginary, right? If purely uh, if uh, real part also non-zero, that is then imaginary. The real part and uh, imaginary part both non-zero, that is imaginary number, right? But this question should be corrected as. Uh, this uh, so that this complex number is uh, this one is purely imaginary. We say purely imaginary if real part is uh, zero. Okay, right? Mm. Otherwise, nothing to extra. Generally, if uh, real part is non-zero, any complex number is imaginary. Mm. No need to mention it. Uh, no need to emphasize it. Right. 